How the hell are you? Okay, now we've got a crowd. Uh, it's apparently Pina Colada night, which is pretty damned exciting. I got a quick straw poll kind of question. How many people can do this juggling thing? It's big screen. Well, that's about a third of the crowd. That's not bad. How many people really want to learn this? Okay, well, I, I, I got a story for you. Juggling balls are actually fairly, uh, fairly pricey investment if you get into it. And I, I started talking to a bunch of people about this, and we, and we said, what, what's the good in this? You know, why, why should we bother doing it? And I stumbled across an article that said that juggling will grow you between 3 and 5% new brain matter, which technically puts you in the realm of either zombie food or superhuman. And, you know, I've got strong feelings about superheroes, so I started thinking, let's run down the list of ways that we could become superhuman. Gamma radiation exposure. Hang on, hang on. Gamma radiation exposure. We end up with rage control issues, purple pants, and cancer. Not so good, not so good. Let's try another one. Either genetically altered, shamanistic, or radioactive, I read a couple of comics, spider bite. You get teen angst and cancer. That's not so great. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's try a more real world example. Getting your parents shot in the face and then spending a lifetime learning ninjutsu. On the four color side and the real world side, we do get a result. Unfortunately, it's mopey ninja. <laughs> so meanwhile, let's go right back to juggling is a really good thing, right? So I can juggle and a couple other of my friends can juggle and we, we all kind of got together and said, well, we have, we have three to 5% more superhuman brain than all the other people around us. We should put our minds together. And myself and Valos and Sean Bigsby and Gabe, who is currently overseas. Oh, shout out Gabe, come on. Hey. New guys, Gabe's like my little brother. He, he's currently serving in Afghanistan. He came back for a couple weeks. Now he's, he's back overseas. But he's going to be back, and he's going to be a part of our community real soon, and we're looking forward to that. Hey. Hi, Gabe. Hey. We'll send you a set. Okay. Meanwhile... Well, we, we've got extras. Let me get to the story. So the thing is, we put our superhuman brains together and we figured out a way to make these so long as we made a hundred of them. And we can make them really cheap. Cheap enough for me to do this. Who was it who said they wanted to learn how to juggle? These are yours. And we can now do that to anyone we want. That's how cheap they are. And we bring them out to our other circus events. And at SpinFest, where we had 98 people show up, we created eight new superheroes. They learned to juggle, and they went home, and then we're going to go get them and add them to our genius collective. So it's, it's like a practice run at taking over the world. We've got to start. We're going to start with juggling, and then we'll move up to, you know, can we all scream world domination together? One, two, three. World domination! We really should have added an evil laugh. Evil laugh. <laughs> That's pretty good. You guys have been practicing at home when no one else is around, haven't you? Our <laughs> the judges would like to award one point to the peanut gallery for that reference.